Okay, everybody. One of the things about a cruise ship is there is always only, that I found, um, one outlet. A one standard 110 volt, um, use, usually in the US, and a 220 over there. There's only one. So what I do is I actually bring a power supply. I bring two of them. You want to charge up your cell phone because when you get back, you want to have a full battery so you could call your ride and you can let them know you're home. Um, I'm a photographer, so I carry some camera equipment with me. I don't bring everything. I bring only what I'm going to need for the different countries I'm going to be visiting. So um, here's a quick walkthrough of what I bring. Um, <clears throat> first, uh, let's go with a point and shoots. I have an underwater point and shoot right here, uh, Olympus TG610. Uh, it's underwater. It's pretty good. Um, I had okay results with it, but for an underwater cam for 200 bucks, uh, I believe it may be a 199. Uh, for 199, it's not bad. Um, your your results may vary depending on how clear the water is or not. There's another camera I have here is the Canon PowerShot SX110. It's pretty good. I actually like this camera a lot. It's, it's our family camera. I give it to my wife who's not a photographer and she uses it and she takes pictures of things and doesn't have to bother me about taking pictures of what she wants. So it's really great for the kids, it's really great for um, a non-photographer wife or spouse. Um, here's my battery charger right here. You always want to bring your battery chargers. If you have more, it would be great. If you have more batteries, it would be even better. Battery charger for my video camera. Um, as far as computer, I always bring my laptop with me everywhere I go. This is, uh, this is an older laptop here. I have a memory card reader. I have a 500 gig external hard drive where every night I back up all the photos and videos to this and I store it in the safe. <clears throat> I just want to keep all of our memory safe. and um, Generally the cruise ships are, are safe and there's really not theft that I've heard, ever heard about. But you don't want to take that risk with your first family vacation or your 100th. doesn't matter. All right. Next one I have is a Canon HV30, a video camera that I bring, a mini DV HD. Uh, I have a wide angle lens on that. I also have a, a, a light that I use also, but it's not here. This is a cool thing. Um, in your camera, I know this is HD, so it has HDMI, but our particular cabin does not have a HDMI slots on, on board the TV, but it does come with these RCA jacks. You plug this back in here, and you can watch plug over here there's a video in here and you could watch your videos or you could bring a portable DVD player for the kids and they could watch their cartoons here video in um, this is the carnival legend I'm not sure if every ship has it but as of April 2011 the carnival legend does have um, AV in at least in uh, balcony that I'm at um, room 5126 extended balcony all right next I have a Canon 7D uh, with a 28 to 135 lens. This is not the um, highest quality lens. It's a kit lens. But I like the range for it for um, excursions because you don't have to change lenses and do all, all that kind of stuff. So I like it. It's a pretty good range for travel. Uh, and I also have a Canon flash here that I bring with the diffuser just to take some family pictures. You know, at dinner time, around, doing some of the deck parties, you want to get all those memories. So. All right, quick run through, laptop, hard drive, memory card reader, make sure you bring that. Uh, I bring a mini DV tape. Uh, I also am using a pocket camera. My pocket camera that I'm using, this is the Kodak ZI8 camera with a Bauer um, wide angle lens adapter that is attached here. That's what I use. I use that during dinner time when I don't want to bring a big camera, I can just put it in your pocket and you capture the moment. It does pretty good HD video. I really personally like it a lot. There's an external uh, jack for a microphone, and I have a, a stereo microphone here that I plug into the side, but my son decides to throw it in the water so it doesn't work anymore. But there you go. Um, all right, back to the rundown. Canon 7D DSLR, um, you can bring in DSLR, but if you're inside and you go outside, you're gonna have a lot of fog on your lens and and it's gonna give you problems. And sometimes it can take up to 20 minutes for it to adjust. I'll show you how to do that in another video. Um, flash, chargers, bring every charger for every battery you have, including AA batteries. Uh, this particular camera, the Canon, 
Power Shot takes AA batteries. This one takes a lithium ion pack. I have the charger for that one. I have spare charged batteries for this one, double A's, and I have a 15 minute charger here. Uh, two power strips I bring. Bring your cell phone chargers. A lot of people forget about that. Bring your cell phone chargers because you, when you enter back into the United States, you want to check your email, check your Twitter, check your Facebook. Uh, make sure you have that uh, charge because you have a dead phone and you're going to be bored waiting to disembark. Um, I have mini DV tapes for my camera chargers and that's pretty much it.